This is a heart rate monitor, a device that tracks the rate that your heart is moving in beats per minute. Now, the average resting heart rate is about 80 BPM, and this is it playing Gorilla Tag Horror. Whoa, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> and I face my fears exploring these games, starting with Cube Runners. Okay, so this is Cube Runners, and right now, my BPM is about a 98 right now. So moving around has definitely increased my heart rate a bit. Upon entering the horror mode, I stumbled upon the Cube Center HQ. Yo, this ain't too bad. What is that? I don't want to go over there. I'll go over here. Oh, a button. All right, you like that? You know, I'm cool as a cucumber, as they say. Is there another button over here? Oh, this ain't too bad so far. I grabbed the last button and managed to escape with no real fanfare. And so far, this has been a walk in the park. Warning, you are now entering the containment zone. Oh, they're still coming after me. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. But then suddenly, the atmosphere changed. This place is way darker than the last one. Oh, this one's creepier. After clacking around with the computer controls, I heard something. <sighs> Oh my god, I just something open. Peeking my head out, my heart was starting to race a bit. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, I just saw a huge spider. Okay, I found another button. And I discovered a path that I hadn't seen before. Is this always open? Oh, a door. Well, this area doesn't look too bad. Oh, is this a crowbar? What could I use a crowbar on? Probably a vent. Oh. That noise. Oh, it's all webby in here. Crawling through the vents, I found the key card that I needed. That wasn't too bad. Two doors locked, and I once again needed to find a key card. I then stumbled into something. What is that thing? Whoa, whoa. Let me out and I will give you the key card? I don't know about that. I mean, the key card's over there. And after mulling it over for a bit, I made up my mind. Hopefully, I don't make the raw mistake here. Oh! Uh, did I screw up? Let me try to open up the door. Oh! All right, we got a key card. Now, which one does this open? Does it open up the containment cell? Oh. Oh, the key card's over there. <gasps> uh, hey guys. I'm just gonna waltz my way through here. <laughs> sprint, sprint, sprint! Run over here as fast as I can. I went through high containment to find... What the... Oh! Wait, it's going somewhere. Oh man. Cube Runners. Three out of five stars. Creepy atmosphere, but I wish there was more. Next is Monkey's Realm, and it tackles a strong question. Can you handle your fears? I found myself in a very familiar feeling place. It felt like every quarter that I checked, I was being followed by something. Who? What the? Oh! Oh! Oh, dude, I feel like a schizo right now. I finally found something that stumbled upon claustrophobia. Not remembering what it meant, I gleefully jumped down. Wait, bro, where are you going? Whoa! Whoa, 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 Green, green street. One. For some reason, I just couldn't figure out the code. So I tried different sequences. What? Why did I work? I no! It's in a different order of numbers. But then, I tried to put them in order that they appear in. So yellow one, green two, blue three, purple four, and red five. Oh! I did it! I did it! It stopped! And to my horror, the next fear was... Clown? What is this? I have a gun? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, jeez! I hate clouds, I hate clouds, I hate clouds! I hate clouds, I hate clouds! I need to collect these flame bullets around the circus to take down the clown. I get okay. it, where do I go? Uh, oh, my God, here. Did I get him? And now, I had one final test. Ah, what? I can't see ah. anything. Scopophobia. Fear of being stared at. What the heck? Whoa! Oh, he beat it! Five out of five stars. Pretty terrifying. Can anything top this? Now, the back rooms is considered to be one of the most unknown and unexplained places. And if you fall in there, the chances of you never returning are high. So I played No Run VR. And of course, I immediately plopped into level one. It didn't take me long to get lost in these endless hallways, looking up and down until... No! Find the button! Now, I had to find a button, and my hunt was not gonna be easy. What happened to this guy? Oh, it's graphic. There it is, the button! Gotta get to the door now! Please! Oh, yes! Okay. 
Oh crap, which slide do I go down? Presented was three options, and I had to make a quick decision. I think it's green, please? Yes! What? It's that noise? It's so loud! Because of the blaring music, I decided to pick up the pace. Is it just me or is the walls getting narrower and narrower? Come on! I see it, I see it, come on! No! Come on! No! 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 no. I see the door! I see the door! No! Come on! Come on! No! No! Oh! Oh! Oh. Three out of five stars, but I almost had a heart attack. Now, Moke seemed to be a pretty upbeat game, from its art style to all walks of life. In fact, I didn't even think this game had a horror mode. You, go up there and do a song for us. Can you do Fireflies by Owl City? What? You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fire... Can you do that? Widow's meds of being Where's horror? Are you sure this is the right way to horror? I don't know. Hey, do you know where horror is? Oh, you know where it is? Okay, it's not I'm just a bit. So I had my pylon-headed friend be a guide to this alleged horror mode that existed. We went through many areas until we arrived at this hole in the wall. Upon entering, it was pitch black and we couldn't see anything. After exploring for a bit, we arrived at a locked door, which needed a key card, a code, and a battery. Once finding those things, we entered into the danger area. Oh, look at that. I started to have this strange feeling that we weren't alone anymore. Whoa. There's nothing bad up ahead, right? After exploring a bit, we saw something horrifying. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. He's right behind us. What the heck? Ew, where are we? Is there a code on here? Eyes on you. I hide in red. What does that mean? What the? Holy crap. Brother, I think before we die, one more fist bump. All right, let's go. Two out of five stars. Appearances can be deceiving. For the final game, Scary Baboons. An outbreak awakens in this facility to horrors beyond our imagination. And apparently, this is the case for like four fan games that look and sound the exact same. When I got in, I was overwhelmed by how many people there was. What the? Uh, oh my god! Oh, there's so much death and murder. Oh my, oh, what? Ah, hey, let me in! Let me, no, open the door! Oh, oh, it's so violent. Oh my god. But I knew that eventually I need to make my move. Alright, I'm going! Screw it! Uh, oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What does this button do? Oh, close the elevator. Oh! Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh. <laughs> it felt like every quarter I turned there was a monster there. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh, okay, I wanna fall green! Okay, he's pointed over here. Okay. Come on, Green, lead the way. Oh my god. I gotta follow the leprechaun. You're gonna take me somewhere. You. Where do I go? Where do I go? Quick thinking, quick thinking, quick thinking. Woo. 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 Okay. I think I lost them. Four and a half stars. My favorite game was probably Monkey's Room, with scary baboons coming in at a close second. And Moke being the worst for how glitchy the experience was. And the kid who kept singing. It was so annoying. Please.